Hello, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, depending on what time zone you are tuning in right now to this Facebook Live that I am doing in honor of Self-Improvement Month, which is September. We, uh, I have decided to do some classes, some little 30-minute mini classes throughout this next week, teaching about some of the techniques that I use for myself as well as with my clients to help them to use their brains, their minds more effectively to change habits, to improve performance, to uh, just become less stressed, more confident, etc. So today's class, uh, well, actually through the week I'm going to be talking about hypnosis, NLP, EFT, PQ, which is positive intelligence and mental fitness. And you may have heard of some of those, you may not have heard of those, but these are some of the things that I'm going to be talking about. I wanna get into the topic today, which is about hypnosis, a quick little hypnosis primer. And um, if anybody comes on and wants to ask a question, you can put that in the chat and see if I can see that over here on my other computer in the chat. And then also I'll teach you a quick self-hypnosis technique that you can do for yourself to help you to improve your sleep, to de-stress and to come back from the experience just feeling more energized and more positive. Who am I? Lisa Smith with the Coaching Center for Mind Training and Success and I have been a certified hypnotherapist for 25 years doing this wonderful amazing work helping other people to learn to utilize techniques such as hypnosis that have been invaluable to me for so many different things throughout the years helping me to quit smoking helping me to get over my fear of public speaking helping me to de-stress to have more confidence uh, to manage pain and change my uh, my eating and exercise habits and it actually helped me to lose 30 pounds and keep it off for about 22 or 23 years now and if you've never seen me prior to this this is what I looked like before when I was overweight for many many years since puberty and have not had an issue with it for so long because of hypnosis and these other tools. So, sorry, different things keep popping up on my screen. All right, so a little bit about hypnosis. What is hypnosis? It is basically a super learning state of your brain that allows you to access the areas of your brain that you're in when you're a child. When we're children, we're like big sponges. We can learn inf so much information so quickly and easily because our brain is in this super receptive state. And the benefit of that, again, is that we can learn everything we need to to understand the world and to try to survive, keep ourselves safe, adapt to our environment, and uh, and then have you know have all this programming in there. The the detriment is that we don't have filters up. So when we're in that state as children, we're taking in a lot of garbage along with good things as well. And so it can really impede our ability to be operating in our most effective way because we've got some, some bad sort of code in there. And then we're operating off of that once it's in there. And when we're trying to make change on a conscious level, we're, we're at the wrong floor, right? So if you can kind of think about it like this, right? The conscious level's up here and the subconscious level is down here. And when we're trying to make change up here on this floor with the conscious mind, we're, but all those, those initial programs and those things that the subconscious is running off of automatically are down here. So we're, we're on the wrong floor. <laughs> And so we need to get to the right floor where all those old programs are stored to be able to change anything that is not how we want it to be, that's not helping us to be, do, feel, or think the way that we want to now in order to be our best or to achieve our goals. 
So hypnosis essentially helps you to get to that right floor, right? Get you out of the conscious mind, get you into the subconscious mind and that super learning state where you can receive positive messages that are relevant to what you want now. And so again, we can be very specific about the information that we're putting into the subconscious instead of just anything and everything that's kind of landing, which is what's happening when we're children. So basically, again, hypnosis helps you to access that level of your brain, the alpha, and then even the deeper level of theta, where the brain is just like a big sponge, it's able to easily absorb and accept new information and put it down at that subconscious level where it becomes easy and automatic and, uh, and eventually sort of like a permanent processing. So your, your autopilot is now programmed with the things that are helpful to you instead of the old default things that either are once were helpful and now are outdated or that were not helpful in the first place and you didn't even realize that you were taking them in and, and operating from them. So that's a, a quick little explanation of hypnosis. It's not sleep, it's not mind control, and you can either listen to pre-recorded hypnosis audios that guide you into that state and then give you suggestion relative to a particular topic, such as eating, changing eating habits or food preferences, eliminating the need, want, or desire for uh, unhealthy substances such as cigarettes or alcohol, uh, habits such as shopping, etc., and allows you to operate again off of off of those new programs. Or you can work with a professional hypnotherapist like myself, who can give you the specific suggestions that you want to need, infuse other elements, other words and phrases and images, uh, etc., that are are specific to what you particularly want and need, incorporating your name in, et cetera. So usually the, the personalized hypnosis is going to be even more effective than just a generic audio that you might be listening to. Let me take a sip of water here. So that's a little bit about the hypnosis and, and you know, essentially what it's, what it's doing in your brain. You can also utilize hypnosis to access deeper memories. So if you're having a hard time remembering information, you can utilize hypnosis for that. In fact, I use hypnosis a lot for learning and, and uh, improving memory for, for exams, test taking, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of different uses for it. Changing bad habits, like I mentioned before, that... Uh, can help you to, you know, quit smoking, eliminate or moderate your alcohol intake, uh, helping with um, with shopping. I've worked with people for gambling. Of course, it helps with the weight loss in terms of changing the habits that are either impeding your weight loss or that instilling new habits that can help with the weight loss, such as increasing your need, want, or desire of exercise and water, healthy foods, that kind of thing, and eliminating your need, want, and desire for the unhealthy foods, or using food as a coping mechanism for um, numbing from your emotions, etc. So that's how it helps with the weight loss. Sometimes we can also put in some suggestions for speeding up the metabolism, improving the digestive system, some things that actually help the, the brain influence how the body is acting, responding to different things. So there can be a physiological response as well. If you have any questions about certain things that hypnosis might be able to help you with, of course, you can always reach out to me or you can post a message here under the, um, under the video while you're watching or, or later on and I will make sure to answer any of those questions Pain management, I talked about that. Sleep as well. A lot of people come to me helping helping with sleep. Fears and phobias or flying, bridges, tunnels, etc. Where I live, there's a lot of bridges and tunnels. So I've worked with a lot of people to help them to ease their nervousness and anxiety about being able to go through tunnels and cross bridges, whether they're driving or whether they're a passenger. 
general anxiety as well as environment specific anxiety. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of anything I didn't cover. Self esteem, self confidence, of course. I mentioned about the test taking, test anxiety as well. So people uh, know that they they know the information that they're studying, but when they're taking a test, they kind of freeze up. The brain freezes up, and that information that they know is in there somewhere. It just isn't easily accessible. So those are some of the different things that it can help with. Uh, let's see. And then in terms of who can utilize hypnosis, at least 75% of the population is hypnotizable. Some, there's a lot of different techniques. So some techniques work better for some people versus other techniques work better for other people. And so as a professional hypnotherapist, my job is to, to help to determine what techniques are likely to be more beneficial for an individual client utilize those techniques or some things I can do beforehand, some questions I can ask, a uh, hypnotic conditioning process that I have people listen to before they, they start their sessions with me that um, I can use a variety of techniques and they can experience different ones and give me some feedback about how those different techniques were beneficial or not to them. So I can start right off with one that's more likely to be successful. And if you're interested, I, I can actually give you a link to access that free hypnosis download and you can experience it yourself and then there will be um, an email explanation with that as well about how you know what you experienced in that and if you're showing signs of hypnosis and what level of hypnosis alpha or theta that you might be experiencing based, in, based upon your responses to some of the different techniques in there. So Again, 75% of the population is responsive to hypnosis. Uh, sometimes it's just a matter of using the right technique with a particular person. Uh, sometimes also it's a little bit of practice, right? Anything that we do, we, we tend to get better at, even if we're not great at it in, in you know, the, the, the beginning. So listening to hypnosis on a regular basis, uh, for example, a daily basis for a week or so, is going to usually increase your receptivity and your ability to respond and get into that state and even get you into a deeper state if initially you're just in a lighter state, which is known as that alpha state. The theta level feel, feels like having fallen asleep, so sometimes people misinterpret that when they listen to the hypnosis and they go into that deeper theta level. They aren't consciously processing what they're experiencing. There's sort of a gap of awareness and people naturally assume that they fell asleep, but it's not really sleep. Uh, so again, the, if you download the, the free audio that I'll give you the link to at the end of this, and, um, and then you get that email after you've listened for a few days, it will, will share a little bit about what you might be experiencing and what are some of the signs of being in a hypnotic state, because it can be also different for different people. Uh, but there are some, some typical kinds of things that are signs that you're in alpha or theta. So let's see. And then there are a lot of different ways, as I mentioned, to get you into that state. And all hypnosis is really self-hypnosis. You are the one doing it all. So whether you're listening to a pre-recorded audio or whether you're working live with a hypnotherapist such as myself, you're, uh, you're, you're the one doing everything. So the voice live or on the recording is just the guide giving you direction about how to focus your thoughts, how to visualize types of things to visualize that will be beneficial to inducing a relaxed and focused state. Some things to help you to like deepen that state, go, go even further into yourself. Uh, and so as you're listening to the voice, remember that you're the one doing it, right? You can choose not to follow along with the guidance. You can choose to ignore it. Um, you can choose to resist it. But if you wanna have the positive experiences that hypnosis can provide, you know, the goal is to, to listen, to be open, to follow along with what's being suggested in terms of you know, what you're focusing on, visualization, et cetera. Uh, so 
as you're going through that process, you're learning some of these different things and each time you're getting better at doing it. So I wanna just teach you a very quick self-hypnosis technique that you can simply do either before bedtime, so if you have a hard time sort of winding, winding down your brain and getting into a good state of, of rest and, and being able to let your mind just relax and guide you into sleep, you can do this. If you need sort of a, a quick brain reset during, during the day, this would be another technique that you can do. You can you know, do, do just the brief relaxation process and then come back from that, or you can do this process and give yourself some positive suggestions about things that you wanna be thinking or feeling or doing as you're going into this and, uh, and spend a little bit of sort of extra time at the end, just staying in that, that uh, neutral, very relaxed state or feeding yourself some of these suggestions if you're in the light alpha state. Now, if, if you go into the deeper theta level, you can't give yourself the suggestions anymore because you're not consciously aware enough to be able to do that. So I find that it is more beneficial if you can have a recording, you can even record something yourself once you learn a technique like this and just record yourself saying the, the guiding suggestions and then you can add any other wording that you want in there in terms of suggestions for ways you wanna think, ways you wanna act, um, new beliefs that you want to instill and then listen to the recording so that all that stuff is getting processed within your brain even if you go into that deeper theta level. So let's, uh, let's kind of dive in and go into that, um, that process of, of learning this technique. So we're always better able, even do waking hypnosis. So you can have your eyes open, you can, you can do these kinds of things with your eyes open, but you, the goal is to really narrow your focus of attention so that you start to tune out the outside world, you start to tune more into the inner world. And you can do that a whole lot better if you're closing your eyes because you don't have all this visual stimulus around you that can distract you. So I do recommend that you, you just close your eyes along with me right now. And the first thing that you do is you focus on your breath. So your breath is your first key to relaxation. Focusing on your breath with your eyes gently closed. Take three slow, deep, purposeful breaths in and out. And as you inhale, just notice the sensation of the breath going in and notice how your chest and your abdomen rise. Try to get that breath all the way down to the belly so you're not just breathing up in your chest. And you pause for a moment and then you slowly let the breath out fully. And notice how your chest and your abdomen lower as you do that. And then as you take another slow deep breath in, down into the belly, noticing the sensation of the breath. Pause for a moment. And it's helpful if you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, but you don't have to. You tend to get a deeper breath if you do it that way and a fuller exhale. And then you pause for a moment, hold that breath, and then exhaling, preferably through the mouth, chest and abdomen lowering again. And another deep, full, purposeful breath in, chest and abdomen rising. Pause and hold. And slowly release the breath out. Okay, now we're gonna to continue to do these breaths for a moment. I'm gonna teach you this three, two, one method. And you can think about that as we're counting from three down to one or we're counting three, two, and one. All right. And as you think about the number three, and you might even visualize that in your mind, when you count three in your mind, you take that deep, full breath in and you hold that breath at two for a few seconds, maybe for a count of four, and then one, breathe out fully, just letting that breath go. 
And then again, three, breathing in, drawing that breath in fully deeply, chest and abdomen rising, noticing that sensation. Two, pause and hold that breath. And one is exhaling out fully, chest and abdomen lowering. And one more time, three, deep breath in. Two, hold. One, fully release and let it go. All right, so we've done the, the three breaths in, pause, and out. Now we've added the elements of the three, two, one. So you're, you're counting with each of those and you might imagine the being the numbers in your mind. And now we're gonna add another element to this, which is tensing your body and releasing um, that tension. So on three, you're going to take that deep breath in. And as you do, I want you to tense either one area of your body or think about tensing your entire body from your feet all the way up to the top of your head, your hands, your arms, your feet, your legs, your facial muscles and tendons. As you take that deep breath in, two, as you pause and you hold that tension, hold that tightness, hold on to all the stress, the anxiety of the day until you feel like you just can't hold it anymore. And then one, as you breathe out, just let that tension go. Relax your hands, relax your arms, relax your feet, relax your facial muscles as you let that breath go. And then let's do that again. Three, tighten as you deep breath in. Two, as I pause and hold, tighter, tighter and tighter, tightening everything as, possibly, as much as you possibly can. And when you can't hold it anymore, let the breath go, let the tension go, just relax all those muscles again as you let that breath out. Just notice how much better it feels as you release that tension. Notice the difference between the tension of three and two, and then the feeling of release on one. And really taking a moment as you release the breath and as you count out to one, as you release those muscles, Notice that feeling of relaxation that comes in. And what you're essentially doing through this is you are, you know, when we're stressed, where our muscles are tense or tight, we might not even realize it. And you're forcing those muscles into fatigue by tensing them even more. Right? So after, after you do this several times, repeating the tension, relaxation, the tension, relaxation, tightening and letting go, you are actually fatiguing those muscles so much that they can't help but relax and really just let go. And you're gonna notice how much better you feel, how much less stressed you feel when you do that series of tension and relaxation. So let's do that again. Three, with eyes closed, three, take that deep breath in and tighten a muscle group or your entire body. As you breathe in, two as you're holding and tightening even more, tighter and tighter and tighter, holding on to all the stress, frustration, confusion, negative emotions, and physical tension of the day until you can't hold it anymore. And one, breathe out, let it go. Notice how good it feels to let it go, let it go, let it all go. Three, deep breath in, tense again. Two, hold tighter and tighter and tighter. One, breathe it out, let it go. Enjoying that feeling of letting it go. And one more time, three. Tense, two, hold. And one, release the muscles, contraction and release the breath. That's right. And just being in this space now, keeping your eyes closed, being in this state of greater physical, mental relaxation and focus, 
as you focused on the counting and the breathing and the tensing and releasing, all those other thoughts that were contributing to stress, strain, confusion, negativity, you weren't thinking about those. And so it's, you know, redirecting your thoughts and your focus into yourself, into your present, into your body, and just allowing yourself to create this wonderful experience. And just hold this space for as long as you'd like, maybe a minute, maybe two minutes. And this is where you could feed yourself the positive suggestions. So if you're making a recording for yourself, or again, you're just in that light alpha state, which, you know, just doing this, uh, this tension relaxation for a couple of minutes, you're only going to be in the light alpha state. Then you're able to, to give yourself some suggestions. So just some positive thoughts, or uh, you could even now in your mind visualize yourself in a, in a favorite, uh, favorite place, a place that always makes you feel happy, joyful, free, confident, Maybe it's a memory of a particular time in your life where you felt really good. Just bring yourself back to the memory and remember everything you were seeing. See it in your mind's eye now. Remember everything that you were feeling physically and emotionally in that good time or that special place, maybe a vacation spot, favorite place around your home, favorite place from childhood. Remember everything that you hear in that place. And you can go to that special place, that special feeling, that special memory, and recreate those wonderful, good, safe, or positive feelings. That's where you could give some yourself some positive suggestions, like affirmations. So affirmations are more powerful when you're in this really relaxed and focused sort of alpha state. I am confident, I am productive, I am successful, I'm abundant. Or even something like, I am becoming more and more confident each day. I'm becoming healthier and fitter every day. I'm learning to enjoy exercise more and more. I'm loving the fresh, pure taste of water more and more every day. Just think about what some of those positive thoughts and ideas are. I am calm, relaxed, and focused. I can't handle anything and everything that's happening in my life right now. I choose to focus on the gifts and opportunities and whatever challenges I'm experiencing. What positive messages would you want to give yourself right now? Just hear yourself saying them or hear my words. I am relaxed, focused, I'm productive feeling more calm and confident today and every day. I'm open to releasing any old habits or thoughts that no longer serve me. I'm feeling better and better every day in every way. And then just take a nice, slow, deep breath in and fully let the breath out. Just anchor in this good, positive feeling that you have right now. Feeling your feet flat on the floor. Maybe you're sitting, feeling your butt in the seat coming back into an awareness of your body, the surface you're on, the feel of the room around you. One more slow, deep breath in, anchoring in this good feeling 
And as you let the breath out, go ahead and open your eyes, coming back into the present moment. Just noticing how much better you feel right now than when you began. That's right. Very good. All right, as we come to a close now, hopefully you enjoyed that, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching the replay. And that three to one method can be something that you can utilize again as, as little as one minute, just practicing that three, take the deep breath in and tighten two, hold the breath and hold the tightness, tighter and tighter, one, let the breath out, let the tension go, release those muscles. And just repeat that several times. In one minute of that tension relaxation, you can feel less physically stressed, less mentally stressed, more focused, or spend a few more minutes doing the breathing, the counting, the tensing, relaxing. And then if you want, spend another minute or so just giving yourself any of those positive suggestions, things that you wanna feel, things you wanna believe, go to that quiet, peaceful place in your mind to recreate the good feelings that you've had when you were there in that memory, in that place. So we're gonna wrap up for today. I'm gonna to put the link down below where you, can, um, where you can get the deep peace conditioning process, sign up for that. The MP3 will be sent to you for you to download, to be able to listen to on a daily basis. You'll get another couple of follow-up emails, helping you to understand what you might be experiencing as you're listening to that process, what are any of the signs of alpha or theta levels of hypnosis that you might be getting into, any of the benefits that you might be noticing, better sleep, less stress throughout the day, et cetera, and this cumulative effect of continuing to listen to that process or even just doing the self-hypnosis three-to-one technique for yourself on a daily basis. So I look forward to talking with you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me with a message. Um, my on Facebook or my email, lisa at themindtrainingcenter.com and my website, which is themindtrainingcenter.com. And have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.